Home Medical here and today I wanted to discuss the care room and proper home setup for caring for a loved one. Um, we'll start with the, the bedroom and the bed area. So it's always important to have a hospital bed that is height adjustable from the ground so you can change the height at which the person gets into the bed. So when they're getting in, if they are ambulatory, they're able to back up to the very edge and drop way back into the middle of the bed. And then for standing out of bed, they can be raised up to the highest possible point where their feet touch the ground, and then they're able to more easily stand up and transfer out of bed. A lot of times the bed rail is sufficient. We have lots of different bed rails to choose from and we help people discover which one's best for their need. And then sometimes you need to move into a little more assistive devices, such as a floor to ceiling pole, which allows a person to use other muscle groups in their arm when just the tricep like this is not enough. So we can uh, integrate our shoulders and our bicep muscles with these handholds. We come to the home and set the pole in the correct spot and also the handholds at the correct height for the individual. Next in the care room, you want to have everything that you need to be able to care for someone who's doing changes in bed, maybe bed bathing, so we like to have our supplies in the bedside table or somewhere at arm's reach. So we can come in here, get our gloves if we need, or wipes, get our incontinence products out, even a change of sheet down below. Make it easy so you're not running around trying to look for what you need. Also, medication management tools. I have one over there on the other side of the bed. Using that or an app or some sort of device to stay on track with your meds is really important because that is the number one reason why people go back into the hospital, second from false. So using a tool like that can really help you stay home and stay healthy and then using a company or a service like Harmony Home Medical to make sure you have the transfer tools and the equipment that you need to stay safe. So our care room setup has our bed, our supplies, and our transfer devices and is hopefully adjacent or very near to our bathroom. So next video, I'm going to get into the transfer devices that are available. If someone's past using the, their own body to do a stand, stand pivot transfer, then there's a lot of really great tools to be able to do lifting, and that's a whole video in itself. So hopefully today we see the layout of a care room, we see our supplies, and our main tool for changes is the bed, and uh, that will help, and then we'll see you next month. Thanks.